So now, if you want to set a certain amount of current, you can use an op amp as a current source. You can see I turn down the voltage, LED gets dimmer, I raise the voltage, LED gets brighter. We're not going to get the full 10 volts though, because uh, the output is uh, limited to about 8 volts. So we'll talk about uh, what's going on. So I'm going to set, you know, somewhere about uh, 5 volts. Let's just say it's uh, 5 volts perfectly coming to the non-inverting input right there. Um, since we have the LED coming to the inverting input, the output's going to raise the voltage as needed to make the voltages equal. We got a 1000 ohm resistor uh, right there. So for every volt, we'll get uh, at uh, the inverting input, which will be the same as the non inverting input, we'll get one milliamp of current. We have the LED though between the output and the inverting input. So it will have to provide an extra two volts to power the LED. But then the voltages will be equal and current will be set. So now here's the uh, schematic diagram I drew for the op amp used as a current source. Now remember, the LM358 cannot provide the full positive supply voltage, usually falls a couple of volts short, so we're limited to about 8 volts out. But uh, we have a trim pot here, we can adjust anywhere from 0 volts to uh, 10 volts, so again, let's just use 5 to make things simple. I set it to half the supply voltage, which gives us 5. That means that the op amp is going to do what it can to keep 5 volts difference between a resistor right there. If it has 1,000 ohms, then you're going to get 1 milliamp per volt, about 5 milliamps of current. That's what the output's going to do. We have a load, let's say an LED, to make things simple, in the way a red LED. That's going to need 2 volts just to get current to flow through it. So you're going to need 7 volts here. It's going to drop about 2 volts, giving you 5 volts, which will be equal to what we set there. So that's a really easy way to set current. So now we're going to multimeter measure how much current is flowing through my current source here. And uh, so I got to bridge the gap, had to make a gap. And there we can see 5.18 milliamps of current. What that means is I should have set the trim pot to uh, 5.18 volts. And it may be like slightly different, but it should be really close to that. And so I can turn the uh, meter to uh, measure voltage right there. And uh, I have this little jumper coming from where I'm setting the uh, signal for the uh, trim pot. And uh, slide that over a little bit. There you go. Uh, so yeah, if I come to this jumper there, there you can see. It's uh, not perfect, 5.18, but it's uh, really close right there. So ultimately, we're setting a voltage with that trim pot. It's setting the same voltage across the resistor, but since we got a red LED, the output's gonna have to provide an extra two volts to equalize those voltages. Pretty straightforward. 